I will never edit a film the same way again. It's been 20 years since I began editing and I've never really changed my process. Until now. So let's talk about that. In this video, we're gonna talk about text-based editing and we're gonna go over Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, and another piece of software called Trint. Talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each one of those. And then also talk about why myself and so many editors are so excited about text-based editing and how it's revolutionizing the way we are approaching our films, videos, or anything that you're cutting with dialogue. Now, originally this video was actually a sponsored video, but the technology is changing so much and it's moving so rapid, I didn't feel comfortable actually just talking about one piece of software. So I wanted to do an agnostic video where no one's paying me anything and I can talk freely about where the technology is and the advantages of each one. It's like people only do things because they get paid. And that's just really sad. Essentially what text-based editing is, is you are cutting your film not based on picture alone or even a timeline, but looking at a transcript that is time-coded to your footage and copying, pasting, deleting, rearranging the words people are saying, and it directly changes everything on your edit timeline. Now, this might seem not that powerful, but you have to understand why this is helping you tell a better story. It's no longer are you trying to just scrub footage, find a quote, or feel things out, but you can actually begin to craft what people are saying, whether it's for a corporate video or one of my documentaries, like Chase It From The South, we use this extensively, because you are now a writer. You are rearranging the words of what's being said and finding the most precise precise and best way to communicate your story. This isn't to say that you're manipulating what people are saying, but it's allowing you to be more efficient to get to your edits. And this technology is only going to improve with the advancement of AI. And I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of AI. I think it still has a long way to go, especially when it comes to creation of video. Did someone say pizza? No way. Are you craving something cheesy and new? I don't know if I'm hungry or disturbed. That said, I think AI has some powerful ways to help enhance the video editor, what we're doing in our timelines. I'll get to Resolve, because I know most of you are stoked on that software these days, but let's first talk about Premiere, because they kind of got out of the gate ahead of everyone on this, and they're doing a really great job with it. So if you want to use text-based editing in Premiere, you can actually set it up so that every piece of footage that comes into your project is automatically transcribed. And this happens very quickly. And what's really cool is Premiere allows you to translate up to 16 different languages with decent accuracy, including Spanish, which my editor, he's actually fluent in Spanish. Isn't that right, Santi? Sí, la verdad es que si no hablas español, podrás encontrar todos los títulos acá generados por AI. ¿Cierto, Mark? See, one of the best parts of Premiere's text-based editing is that you can actually identify where all the pauses are in the video. And you can just quickly highlight those and ripple delete them and get rid of all of the breaks that are in your video so that you don't manually have to go through and look at the waveform and find and blade blade and delete where the actual pauses were. And as many of my editors know, I often pause because I get a bit distracted. <laughs> Sick. So as I was saying, what's great with Premiere is you can highlight the sections you like, delete them, and move them around as you need to tell your story. You don't understand how much this speeds up editing. No longer do you have to hit play and listen back to what's being said. You can quickly read and understand if you even want that sentence. Now you might not always wanna do this if you're doing a documentary. Sometimes there's a line that you wanna be careful not to cross where you're actually manipulating the intention of what people are saying. But if you're doing a YouTube video like I'm doing or some quick TikTok reel, you need to get the information out there in the most efficient and coherent way possible. Another great thing that Premiere does is it does automatic captions on your footage that'll generate these captions. And for us, that's really important because with our Art of Documentary course, we're gonna have about 270 videos in the course this fall, and we need captions on all of those in a variety of languages. So I think we're gonna start using that for Premiere. In the past, we've had to use other softwares online, and it costs thousands of dollars. Another great thing is you can search for specific words. Sometimes if someone mispronounces something, but they say it correctly at another time, you can actually search for that word. Or maybe there is a key point in your story that you needed to find out. This is speeding up so much of your workflow. Get into text-based editing. Let's just quickly talk about Resolve. They've just 
added text-based editing into their 18.5 beta. Now, it's only in English right now, and it's very early in their inception. The rumors I have heard, though, is that Resolve is gonna be putting a ton of AI into their software to the point that you can search for certain people's faces, and then as an editor, when you need to find a shot of that person, you can just type in their name, or you can type in things like mountains or roads, and it will inherently recognize that. I don't know this for sure. This is just what I've been told by some other editors. We've used Resolve a bit for this text-based editing, it's good, it's a bit behind Premiere from what we found. And similar to Premiere, you can highlight text in order to begin editing. You don't have to be in the timeline or resolve, you can edit directly based off the text document inside the software. One really cool thing with Resolve is with one click, you can create subtitles for your entire timeline. It can be over an hour and you can just automatically have subtitles across the board there. Really powerful tool. And since we're talking about editing, I wanna quickly mention my new editing setup. I'm really excited about this. It's the Mac Studio from Apple. It's the M2 Max. And this is so fast when it comes to rendering. There's just, there's no delay time. Like when I'm in Premiere or Resolve, it's just working seamlessly. I'm loving it and I can't wait to get in bigger projects because the footage we're using is just getting bigger and bigger. Anyways, you can ask me any questions below about this. Uh, maybe I'll do a dedicated video for it as well. Going on to Trent, this is the software I've used most extensively. One of the most powerful things with Trent is that you don't need to be in the editing software. This is really convenient because you can be on any computer or even an iPhone that just has an internet connection. For me, I've been able to work on my films without having to take my hard drives or anything like that because I just go directly to the server on Trent where I've uploaded clips and I can begin creating what they call a story. You highlight the words you want and say add to story and it creates a second document. And you go into that document and you export out an XML or an EDL and you can import that into Resolve and Premiere and it automatically will blade up the footage that you had exported originally. So essentially the story or what you can imagine, the timeline you've created in this Word document on the Trent website is something you can directly import back into your editing software. This was great because for the tornado film, we had hours and hours and hours of footage. I didn't always want to have to travel with a ton of hard drives or proxy files or link them back to Premiere, that's a pain, but I could just open up a web browser and continue to keep reading through what was being said in this film and highlighting different moments. And then I would just send that to our editor, Lewis. We got to work and collaborate together and I never had to be in the edit suite. We actually never were in the same room to make that film. Another powerful thing with Trent is that it has over 40 languages. They have the most extensive language based and you can actually use it to translate back into another language. Trent has a bunch of other tools like they have uh, an app now that you can actually transcribe on the fly when you're in an interview so when the interview is done you already have everything transcribed. Sometimes when you're just starting off with filmmaking it's quite intimidating to be in the edit timeline and to understand the software but anyone can read a document unless you're illiterate. I guess you know you can't read it. So if you're literate, it's great, which you hopefully are. And if you aren't, there'll be a course for that. The Derek Zoolander Center for Kids Who Can't Read Good. But if you can read the document, then you can build the story. I would still say as a general rule, as a storyteller, it's better to show things than always have them told. You don't want all your videos just being a video essay or feeling like a Wikipedia page that's being spoken out you get the chance to show B-roll, but text-based editing is saving us a ton of time. So get into that, mess around with it. There's beta software, like I mentioned, for Resolve, or Premiere has included this already in. Also, if you're interested in checking out Trent, I have an affiliate code down below. that You can try out a trial of that. Check the code and link down there into the description. As I mentioned before, I'm not always a big fan of AI. Just because it can create things very quickly doesn't necessarily mean it's enhancing the creative process or creating things that are better than us as artists can do. Eat pepperoni hug spot pizza. Your tummy say thank you. But when it can serve us and help us to impart our directorial eye and vision into a project quicker and more efficiently, then I'm a big fan of it. And text-based editing is doing that for video editing right now. Well, thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one. Odio las despedidas. Sí. For every salmon that gets caught, hundreds make it past the bears. Sick.